So if you're fully ready for the AccuPlacer exam, well, you should be able to easily answer this question right here. Now, there's different uh, AccuPlacer exams, but uh, the AccuPlacer is all about math placement into college. But uh, this question right here is uh, something that you'll definitely see on like the QAS or AAF exams. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 12 is greater than or equal to 6 minus 3x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And what we want to do is solve this compound inequality. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the complete solution in just one second. Also, if you need help studying for the AccuPlacer exam, I have fantastic test prep courses that can help you out. I'm going to leave links to all my AccuPlacer test prep courses in the description of this video. But uh, let's take a look at the complete solution to this problem right now. So the main idea to solve this inequality is effectively we want to kind of solve for x. Okay, now x is this variable and it's in the middle, okay, of these two inequality symbols right here, right? So you want to kind of think to yourself, well, you know, if I had to solve for x, you know, like if x right here, let's say uh, we have negative 3x is equal to uh, 10 or something, you know, you have to do the basic algebra steps to solve uh, this uh, particular solve for this particular variable, right? So we'll make it more interesting, like a, a two-step equation, something like uh, this, right? So we'd have to, oh, okay, I know how to solve this. But what you're going to be doing is uh, uh, taking simultaneous steps uh, on both sides of the inequality as you're solving for that variable. Now, I'm saying solving for that variable, really not solving for the variable, but you're taking the same steps as if you were solving an equation, okay? That's why it's critical that you know how to solve uh, linear equations, one step, two step, multi step linear equations before you tackle a linear inequality. So let's kind of take a look at the steps right now. So the first thing we want to do is this. Okay, we have 6 minus uh, 3x, uh, that's in the middle. I want to get x by uh, itself, uh, you know, just surrounded by these inequality symbols. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this 6. So I'm going to subtract 6 from here, but I need to subtract 6 from both sides of the inequality, okay? It's like subtracting 6 from both sides of an equation, but here i got to subtract 6 here, here, and here. And this is a kind of typical format that you would want to, uh, like, you know, write your solution as. So now you're going to just simply add down in a column manner. So we have 12 minus 6, which of course is 6, and then 6 minus 6 is 0, and I'm left with negative 3x in the the middle here, and then minus three uh, plus negative six is negative nine. Okay, so this would be the first step uh, here, but we're not done yet, right? Because we still need to solve for x, and I got this negative three coefficient in front of that term, and this is my uh, mathematical warning symbol, right? So this is where the sirens and stuff are going off. You're like, alert, alert. Focus, pay attention, because this is where a lot of students are going to make an error. Now, to get uh, x by itself, what are we going to have to do? Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to end up having to divide uh, this by negative 3. Okay? Now, anytime you're dealing with uh, inequalities, if you have to divide uh, an inequality by a negative value, okay, or if you have to multiply to solve or to get that variable by itself by a negative value, you need to be on alert because what's going to happen is these inequality symbols are going to reverse, all right? So before you even take that step, you're like, okay, I'm almost there. I'm going to have to divide uh, by a negative value here, right, uh, which is specifically negative 3. But I'm thinking to myself, when I write my answer, I'm going to have to flip these inequality symbols. I'm going to have to reverse them. And this is the step that students, a lot of students know to do this, but they forget to actually write that. Matter of fact, they're saying to themselves, okay, reverse that. And then they just don't actually write it. When you're doing math, you have to be uh, like ultra focus because it's so easy to make a math error. I make math errors. I've been doing math for decades and decades, and I know better, but I actually will just write something. I didn't even realize I even uh, wrote <laughs> something down because you have to kind of, you know, have to constantly 
uh, be at a high state of focus. Okay. And the best way to do that is when you write something down, double check your work, or ask yourself, okay, you know, almost like you're kind of grading your work as you go, you write a step, you write another step and you go, Hmm, you know, you gotta be a little bit paranoid. You're like, did I write that step? Right. Double check it and write that step. And then ask yourself, did I do that? Correct. You know, double check and kind of grade yourself as you go. Now I know that's a lot of you know, um, kind of side talk to this solution. But the whole point of this video is to help you uh, prevent errors, right? Some, and especially errors that you know uh, kind of better not to make. Okay, so now to get X by itself, I know I'm gonna have to divide by negative three here and here and here. Man, I'm thinking, okay, what I need to do now is I'm going to uh, focus on uh, reversing these inequality symbols. A lot of kind of things you need to focus on, right? So let's just kind of go uh, go through this uh, one by one. So we have six divided by negative three, that's negative two. Now I've got my inequality symbol, I need to flip that. This is greater than or equal to, this becomes less than or equal to, negative three divided by negative three, that's x. And now I have my greater than or equal to, that's gonna become less than or equal to, negative nine divided by negative three, positive three. So you can see here, you know, how many things do we have to mentally check? One, two, three, four, five. So this is where a lot of students, you know, get in, uh, in trouble is they just lose focus, okay? Just for even one microsecond and you can easily make a mistake.